MEMC's bonded SOI production process begins with the preparation of the donor wafers. In the first step of this process, the donor wafers are oxidized in a vertical furnace. This thermal oxide layer will ultimately form the buried oxide, or box layer of the finished SOI wafer. Following oxidation, the donor wafers are implanted with ions in a standard batch ion implantation system. The ions penetrate through the thermal oxide layer and come to rest in the subsurface region of the underlying donor wafer. This forms an implant damaged layer below the wafer surface. The depth of this layer below the surface is determined by the implantation energy. Higher implantation energies enable deeper penetration of the implanted ions. This implanted layer forms the fracture plane which separates the top silicon and box layers from the donor wafer and allows the transfer to the handle wafer. Thus, the thickness of the top silicon layer in the finished SOI wafer is determined by the energy of the implanted ions. The donor wafer is now ready to be bonded to the handle wafer. Just prior to bonding, both the donor and handle wafers are meticulously cleaned to remove contaminants. These particles could interfere with the bonding process, resulting in bonding voids and other layer defects in the final SOI wafer. The first step in the bonding process is to expose the surfaces of the donor and handle wafers to a glow discharge plasma process. This process chemically activates the surfaces to produce a high initial bond strength. The wafer surfaces are then rinsed in deionized water and spun dry. The donor and handle wafer surfaces are brought into contact and a gentle compressive force is applied at one edge of the wafer pair. This initiates a bond wave that travels across the entire bond interface area, bonding both wafers together. The bonded pair is given a treatment to further increase the bond strength. The bonded pair is now ready for the mechanical cleaving process. A small fracture is initiated at the edge of the bonded pair as the donor and handle wafers are gently pulled apart. The fracture jumps into the implanted layer and propagates across the entire donor wafer. This results in the bulk of the donor wafer separating from the handle wafer. The thin oxide layer and silicon layer have been transferred from the surface of the donor wafer to the surface of the handle wafer. The handle wafer with the transferred oxide and silicon layers becomes the SOI wafer. The remaining donor wafer can be repolished and recycled to make additional SOI wafers. The as-cleaved SOI wafer is next given a high temperature anneal to produce a high quality bond interface. After this step, the SOI wafer is ready for the epi smoothing process. The proprietary epi smoothing process is a high temperature gas phase silicon etch performed in a single wafer epi reactor. The epi smoothing process etches away the residual implant damage from the surface of the wafer. This step reduces the roughness of the as cleaved surface to values similar to a standard epi wafer. There is minimal degradation of the SOI layer thickness uniformity. Following the epi smoothing process, the wafer is cleaned, inspected, and packaged and is ready for use.